All right, well, we're getting our first entry coming up here, and it's uh, what better way to lead in than the uh, cavalry. This is the uh, commanding general's color guard here, so we're excited to have them from Fort Riley. They're celebrating their uh, 100th anniversary here, uh, which for the first, uh, first division. Yeah, some beautiful horses. Uh, those look like thoroughbreds, I'm guessing. Uh, just some uh, beautiful horses. They got the the U.S. on the side of them, and uh, my goodness, covered wagon, mounted color guard of Fort Riley, Kansas, commanding generals. Boy, I tell you, they went through a lot of work to put that together, did they not? Oh, yeah, and definitely go down and check them out. They'll be at the Eisenhower Presidential Museum and Library. There we're going to do some demonstrations today. Uh, so very excited they'll be able to set up that camp and you get a chance to get up there and check out what they have. Eisenhower's got some great stuff, uh, a, couple of, uh, a couple of great displays going on. One they put together in April out of the museum. Uh, you get a chance to see the uh, Chisholm Trail and uh, Ike, the, the uh, town that raised, the cow town that raised the president. Then on the other side, you got in the library, a great one that the uh, Flint Hill Symphony put together. So we're excited to share the excitement with Eisenhower. Big movie marathon going on all day today and tomorrow. So you get to see those old classics on the Chisholm Trail in Abilene there. Well, big thank you to Fort Riley for going through all that work to uh, make sure that um, uh, they have that uh, particular float. So we got... Uh, we got the Native Americans are coming Native down Americans, here, so uh, a lot of great uh, tribes represented. We're so excited to have them as a part of this great event. They were here last year as well, and they're going to give us a great demonstration tonight. We are calling them the uh, the dance troupe, the Native dance troupe, and we're so excited to have them as a part here, and they're on foot. We appreciate them for that. So, so and they are out of Oklahoma then? All right, no, Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, Wichita. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's great. All right. All right. We got Dennis Rogers doing his uh, hoop dancing as well. Spirit dancer doing a great job. You'll see Dennis out there at the uh, at the Native American spot as well. We've got a, a couple of teepees put up. We've got a little village there in a demonstration area. We're very excited to have them with us. And they're out of Wichita, is, is what I understand. Now. Yeah, so, and Dennis, yeah. you'll see all over the country. He's open for Willie Nelson. He's uh, He works with Black Hawk a lot, so it's kind of neat to see him with us. He's headlined several events, so he's a big part of this thing. And uh, who we got coming up now? Well, after Dennis, uh, and he likes to work in the crowd, too, so we appreciate okay. him for that. All right. He's quite talented, uh, is he? Yeah. Guy? Yeah. Following up Dennis Thank here. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Following up Dennis, this is an important one there. This is the Chisholm family, and there are about 14 of them. They're still, uh, the descendants are uh, very proud of Jesse Chisholm. Uh, they tell you the history better than anybody. Uh, their granddad had just about every artifact that you can imagine. That uh, Unfortunately, it happened to be in Ground Zero of a tornado, so we lost a lot of the great stuff we had on Jesse Chisholm. So this family keeps it together for us, and we do appreciate them that. You'll see Todd Hokinson up on the front side with the BFW. They just changed their name uh, to uh, signify Eisenhower now. We're very excited to share that with them as well. But this is a great, uh, a great flow. Bobby Mears uh, helped us get this all together. So thank you so much, Bobby. Chisholm family's coming out of Wichita. Are they all from Wichita then, or are they from different areas? Uh, they're kind of all over, but yeah, yeah Wichita in that area there for sure. So. All right, wonderful. Well, we were, here we have some folks on some cow ponies. Yeah, this is uh, exciting here. The, this is Buckeye Saddle Club. But what they've done uh -huh. is they found the flags for every state uh, represented on the Chisholm Trail. So you'll see Kansas, Texas, Oklahoma. And we're pretty excited to share this with all the way up and down the trail. You've got so many different great towns that came up and down, and they've all had their celebrations. We just hope that we'll have the biggest one of them all there. So thank you for the Buckeye Saddle Club. They actually took the governor's proclamation and moved that all the way down to Marion County on horseback. And I think it made it all the way to Texas when it's all finished. And here we have the uh, Miss Teen Rodeo, Kansas. Yeah, we Good do morning. have Senator Hardy as well, yeah. and he Big. actually helped us with that proclamation day, and he's got another exciting thing that he's going to share with us here on the stage at noon. Uh, so we do appreciate having uh, that representation. We also will see Marla Mackin, who is going to be doing a uh, Soil Dove presentation. She came out here and did uh, Libby Custer earlier for us, so we appreciate having Marla coming all the way from Hayes there, and then Miss Rodeo Fort Hayes State, so, and Miss Teen Rodeo on that float. Very important float there. Yeah, Miss uh, Rodeo from uh, Fort Hayes uh, State. Big, big, big smile on their face. That's yeah. right. <laughs> uh, they know how to smile. Well, we couldn't have asked as for better weather than what we have, Mike. I mean, this is just absolutely wonderful. Just enough of a breeze to 
got to keep you cool and yeah what a wonderful crowd out there yeah yeah, so. yeah all the way down the uh, cedar street you see just a nice crowd coming up on the sidewalks and we appreciate that are uh, we gonna have uh we're gonna have the crumps here we do appreciate gary for bringing in that little wagon as well this is uh, kind of fun to see a little uh, little <laughs> pony pulling this thing yeah. Uh, but he'll be giving rides down there for a little bit today, so uh, you get a chance to see Gary. He's just a great personality. When we started putting together uh, these uh, these pioneer events, we had the old sickle mowers. We had some different things like that. Hook them up to the horses, ride them all the way through Heritage Center. They worked our field. Uh, very exciting uh, to see the old equipment getting worked for the first time in 100 years. So, and Gary's from where now? Is he right from right here locally? Yeah, Gary's yeah. close. Uh, he's a Chapman guy, or is it? Okay, yeah. okay, Chapman. All right. Yeah, I thought I recognized him. Right, and then we got yeah. Faith Rocks coming up behind us. There's Jackie that's waving to you. So, right. uh, Faith Oops. Rocks does so many great things for us, uh, and they help a lot of kids. They'll put the helmets on the kids and teach them how to ride. It's just a kind of neat thing. It's Faith Faith uh, group there, but uh, they're right here in town. We appreciate everything Jackie does. You know, as we as we uh, talk to the people out there, if you haven't got your tickets yet, it's only uh, ten dollars for the day or fifteen dollars for the whole shebang. So very affordable, and that will get you into any and everything. And, of course, you don't want to miss the uh, Sons of the Pioneers and Michael Martin Murphy uh, tomorrow night. Uh, Murphy will be performing at 7.30. So who we got here, Mike? Yeah, this is Kenny Nelson, and uh, we're excited about this. This is a doctor's buggy. You don't see too many of these around anymore, so we appreciate him. He's got a couple of teams coming with us here, so thanks, Kenny, for, uh, for a nice representation there. Got a beautiful horse. I'm, uh, I'm not really way up on my horses, but I can tell you that uh, that's a nice-looking cow pony there. So. Yeah, Kenny Nelson, Pam Curtis, uh, uh, that is a Sonny, he's a quarter horse. Oh, okay, yeah. Coming up to us, we're excited about this. Fort Wallace just celebrated their 150th as well, so it's a, it's a great year for 150th, sir. So, uh, we've got a big coach coming up here, nice little wagon. Right, we do appreciate them kind of pairing up with us. This is, uh, we're, kind of, we're kind of teammates right now, so <laughs> we appreciate it. Are those Buffalo Soldiers behind there? I know that they're, they have an entry in the parade. They, yeah. They yeah, look like they're out of Kansas City, are they? Yeah, we got cavalry guys coming from Wallace here. Yeah, so. from Wallace then. Okay, do we have some from Kansas City as well? Yeah, the Buffalo okay. Soldiers be the, coming from Kansas from City. From Buffalo there, Soldiers so. will be burned. These are, okay, these are cavalry uh, then out of uh, yeah. Wallace. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, they certainly look uh, dressed in, in the in the period and yeah. look like the real deal, don't they, though? Yeah, these guys here, this is Wild Bill's Gunfighters. You'll see them every weekend uh -huh. while the train's running, so we appreciate Wild Bill on the top there. Old Abilene Town stage line, this is a great thing. Uh, we just painted a couple of the wheels. Looks nice right now, so we appreciate it. everybody that's making a part of Old Abilene Town, bringing this thing back to life. So thank you to Wild Bill's Gunfighters there. And they also do the uh, the stagecoach rides uh, during the weekend, during That's the warmer right. months. So. And you'll get a couple of horses yeah. pulling it this weekend, so get on the stagecoach. We also have New Trail Fellowship coming through here, here, so we appreciate them being a part of this thing as well. Stan Norman's group. All right. Stan's going to be uh, giving a, a service, too, at some time over the weekend. Yeah, 10 o'clock yeah. in the morning in the field to the north of Old Abilene Town, or actually uh, to the north of the Heritage Center, you'll actually get that cowboy church there. Okay. okay. Good-looking group here. These are the American Freedom Riders, and we appreciate them coming. They're actually going to do a little demonstration for us later on, hopefully, so we'll get them out to the ro rodeo arena down here in Old Abilene Town. We just built the rodeo arena, so you definitely want to see as many shows that you can. That's where Pawnee Bill will be as well. They, uh, they support our troops, is what I understand. That's right. And speak of the devil, there's Pawnee Bill himself there. So. Oh, boy. <laughs> so we do appreciate this group. You're going to see a lot, of, uh, there's a lot of great characters, a lot of great writers. Uh, you might see uh, some covered wagons, some stagecoaches, chariots, all kinds of great stuff. Pawnee Bill's group has been doing this since 1994 and coming from Pawnee, Oklahoma. And we appreciate them coming to see us there. <laughs> Well, this is in the style of the Old West shows, then, is it not? Yeah, just like Buffalo Bill and Pawnee Bill came up right with uh, Buffalo Bill. They're on the same show. When they came to Abilene in 1909, they were both here. So we're pretty excited about having them coming back. This is a great tradition for us for Pawnee Bill. And they will be performing both today and tomorrow, is my Today and tomorrow, so if you miss it today, you have no reason tomorrow to miss it. This is going to be a great show. We're excited about it. So, folks, make sure you have that ticket. We should mention there's a car show that will be going on all day. And uh, it's on Texas Street, or some people know it as First Street, I guess. And yeah. I think it uh, wanders on over into the uh, the courthouse uh, parking uh, lot if needed. I'm not sure how many cars showed up. So, all right. Yeah. 
Yeah, just had some great buggies going through here, so we're, uh, we're just kind of showing off uh, as many as we can, historic looking ones. We're pretty excited about everybody that's come out to see us. We're all over the state of Kansas and Oklahoma with these buggies here. All right, here's the fun one here. This is Home on the Range. So that is a one-third replica of the cabin in Smith County that uh, that they made the movie uh, about. This is uh, Home on the Range made in 2016, which was Ken Spurgeon that put that. That's L. Dean Holtis is pulling that for us from Smith Center. But it's kind of neat. Home on the Range was a movie that they made about basically the Kansas State song, and they tell you the, the history and the tradition, scary stuff that happened. There was a lawsuit that was involved with this. Who had the claim? Where did the song come from? All that will be covered in that movie with Ken Spurgeon, so we appreciate right. that. Sunday night, you'll see that. Well, it looks like the damsel all gals there, huh? Well, we got a rowdy group here. This is yeah. the old Abilene Town Gunfighters. Yeah. They go all over and demonstrate. We also have the Wild Women of the Frontier just passing up here, so... Oh, they, uh, they perform on a regular basis at all. Yeah. They have a lane the Kansas there. River yeah. Gang as well. Yeah, the Wild Women of the Frontier is coming to us from Baldwin, Kansas, Topeka, Kansas. We appreciate them. They're going to be doing the train robbery for us at 2 and 4, so you're going to see a rowdy bunch on that train with you. Yeah, I just want to thank Napa Auto Parts, uh, Buckeye. You can depend on Napa Know How, one of the sponsors here of our broadcast on uh, KABI. Stevens Chiropractic, uh, they know what they're doing. Benjamin Edwards and company, Patty O'Malley, your investment professionals, and I'll run down some more of these a little bit later on, but uh, right now we want to recognize, uh, who is this, Mike Dow? Uh, this looks like the Legion, right? The Legion, yeah. No, all right. yeah. VOW, there you go. VOW, all right. <laughs> Pardon us. Yeah. All right. That's right, VMW Auxiliary, we uh -huh. appreciate this flow. We've got a nice uh, rail car, the uh, steam engine coming through here. It's a pretty uh, sweet little setup there. That's an old tractor right there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so Massey Ferguson or what? Yeah, uh, that's guessing. a neat little setup, a little yeah. book on the backside. So appreciate them putting all that work in there. Yeah. Here comes uh, Kevin Brown and his group here. You've got the reenactors here. We're excited about that. Nolan Sump and his wife, uh, Sarah McCoy, is, uh, and, uh, and Joseph McCoy. We'll also see Joyce uh, Tier and uh, Ann Bernie. They're going to be doing some great cattle presentations, the, the original uh, cattle girls on the trail. Uh, we do appreciate that group right there. Stevens Same. Chiropractic. Coming down here, right down there, uh, their uh, stomping grounds down here off of Cedar Street. We appreciate Stevens, and that is uh, Claire Schrock that's pulling that for us. Great little wagon there. One of the sponsors of our broadcast on uh, KBI for this parade, in fact. Yeah, great covered wagons coming through here, so we're excited to see all the great little uh, old stuff. As you can tell, we're not seeing a lot of gas-powered stuff coming up. As soon as I say that, you see a bunch well, of trucks. Well, it gives you a feeling of the Old West. It really it brings it back to life, uh, if only yeah. for a, a day or two. That's right. So. This one's uh, very colorful here. Oh, yeah. Look at the wheels on that. Now, we had some and, entries that came in. We do appreciate all these guys that came through here. They, they travel a lot of miles to get here, too, we know. We're so, like I said, a bunch of guys, Pawnee Bills group came about six hours, some of them. So we appreciate them working so hard to get there. Uh, these things are uh, really blingy. That was the POW yeah. uh, MIA uh, entry right there. So. Now, do they give uh, uh, they get trophies or anything out of this, Mike? Or are they, no, we're are just we sort of out of the good of their right heart. Now. They're coming okay. out, and no prizes. Right. Everybody's uh, uh, the same greatness there. So yes. Buffalo Soldier is coming to us. There we, we go. Yeah. These guys are out of Kansas City. And yeah, we do appreciate this group here. They tell the great stories and the history of, uh, of the Buffalo Soldiers as well. Well, when you think about it, if it wasn't for these people, uh, this, all of this history would die. Yeah, you know, that's they, right. they really contribute in, in keeping the, the Old West alive, and of course, uh, Abilene being a very important uh, community when it comes to the Old West. Yeah, now we do see uh, Linda Coots pulling this great little wagon. This is the honoring those who broke, who broke the sod. Eisenhower's helped put that together, but you see, uh, we're all about agriculture. We're so important. It's essentially what pushed the Longhorn out. We had the wheat going for us, so we do appreciate all those sod busters making Kansas what it is today. And of course, the Eisenhower uh, Presidential Library and Museum, they're showing a, a number of old films uh, as a part of the celebration. Yeah, one of my favorites, Abilene Town. It's uh, Randolph Scott in the 1940s. Uh, tells the story very well. Not very accurate, but they does kind of portray Tom Smith. So here's the McPherson Silver Buckle Drill Team. We appreciate them all coming. They'll be uh, demonstrating for us in that radio, rodeo arena as well. So they're going to test it out. It's, uh, it's, uh, we had a few riders last night, but we're excited about seeing them uh, out in the show today. Old Abilene Town premiered uh, when the theater was over there that no longer is across the street. And uh, Randolph Scott showed up for that, in fact. So. Yeah, oh, that's great. 
great little buggy here. So we appreciate uh, it's, uh, these horses just look beautiful. Yeah. Car shows making some noise down on Texas Street. I think they're officially kicked on down there. So you get a chance to go down Texas Street, check out that car show. Hopefully they'll get about 200, 300 entries there. So. You know, there's concessions set up uh, everywhere uh, during uh, this celebration. So, uh, folks, you want to make sure to support those people as well. So. That's right. Yeah, boy, they're running some engines back there, aren't they? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, all right. Here's a, Ken a Kansas River gang out of Garnett, Kansas. They work with the Wild Women of the Frontier. They'll be robbing that train, too. So uh, make sure you hold tight to your money. We thank them so much. There's a couple of great events that's going on as well in Ottawa, Kansas, uh, Cowboy Days. Uh, they've uh, decided to come see us this year. We appreciate them traveling so many miles to come and see us there. So, great little wagon for uh, Frank uh, Bergdahl. He's got some uh, some great characters sitting back behind there as well. So they're out of Linden, Kansas. Yeah, and then we've got right behind them is the Buffalo Soldiers out of Wichita, and we do appreciate these two guys. These riders will be able to educate you, tell you the stories. They'll be out the arena as well with the Kansas City group. Yeah, this is an old hearse here is what it looks like. So. Yeah, what we were hoping to do was bring the hearse up on the end. Unfortunately, the Longhorn didn't like the hearse being behind him. It was giving him bad vibes there. So yeah. So this is not the end of the hearse parade. We've got the important guys coming up here in a second. But this is a very important piece as well. So uh, the Undertaker, we know that uh, uh, Eichholz would have been right here on that brown block, where, right where the United Building is. That would have been our original Undertaker. You can kind of see him walking down the streets here. Oh, yeah. Kind of starting trouble for people. So we got a lot more. We have more parade on the way, but it's it's down their way. So. Yeah, a little bit of uh, right. downtime, but you gotta give them some time. And let's thank the railroads. I don't want to jinx it, but they haven't run any trains through here yet, so we're sitting pretty so far. Well, I'll take a half a minute here and extend a thank you to some of the sponsors of uh, this uh, live coverage of the parade on KBI. Stevens Chiropractic, which, uh, pardon me, mentioned here not too long ago. Uh, Benjamin F. Uh, Edwards and company, Patty O'Malley, Expression Salon, they're just uh, real close to where we're set up here. Auburn Pharmacy on North Broadway, caring for your health, uh, true community pharmacy. And uh, Peterson Monument and Design, a longtime community uh, partner. So just uh, some of the folks here that are making this broadcast uh, possible here on KABI, Holton Water Company for all your uh, light and, and uh, your truck repairs, auto and light truck repairs foreign and domestic and we got a number of others as well we just Which, had uh, Kaylee, kelly taylor our, uh, oh, our president of the heritage center just passed this he's playing uh mr eicholtz who was the original undertaker here in town uh they said that, that he would use uh, metal coffins which were kind of popular back then and uh, tom smith unfortunately uh, met his untimely demise when they dug him back up out of there they said his body was still fresh so that uh, metal thing does work out if you ever look for those so, Mike, give us an idea after this parade is over, what's going to be happening uh, at Old, Old Abilene Town? Well, you want to get down there by high noon because that's when a lot of the stage activities will start. We've got Joseph McCoy will be coming, and he'll be on stage first, kind of kicking it off. Uh, this is all about McCoy and Chisholm, so we want to give those guys the credit. You get over to the Novelty Theater tent, you'll get a chance to see uh, Jesse Chisholm. Uh, Reenactor James Jordan's coming up to, uh, to do Jesse Chisholm for us, so we're pretty excited about that. And then uh, throughout the day, you're going to see some great events and some great things. I do want to uh, kind of uh, nudge you, if you will. At 3.15, there may or may not be something very special going on at Old Abilene Town. We don't make a big deal. We don't want you guys all crowding it. But uh, just I'll just say that something special is going to happen at Old Abilene Town at 3.15. So make sure you're on those streets at that time. But uh, Longhorn Parade, if you're going to want to see those guys get loaded up on the train, and here comes Stan Norman coming up on the cart as well from all the right. Trail Fellowship. But these uh, Longhorn, we're very excited about having them come up on the train there. So 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock, we'll have Stan Dorman in. So you're not telling us what's going to happen at 3.15 then? No, it's going to be a surprise, and I didn't even want to say anything, but you don't want to miss it. And we'll have some camera crews and stuff, too. It'll be kind of fun. But that is for uh, just all the things that are happening. But if you want to see the Longhorn going around Old Abilene Town, they're going to put them in the stockyards. Uh, Rye Hod Corral and uh, John McDonald built this beautiful stockyard. So you're going to get a chance to see what those authentic stockyards would have looked like back then. They're going to load them up and then take them parade around town. And then you're going to go see them loaded up. So these same Longhorn here, these are the big guys coming down the street here. But we do appreciate Rawhide for everything they did for us. And it's special to have those stockyards back, the loading chute, all that. So you want to sit around 1.30, start looking for those Longhorn to move around Old Abilene Town. They're actually going to go right down Main Street. So right down the middle of Main Street of Old Abilene Town, you're going to see these Longhorns coming down. So that'll be pretty special. You still, I know you have a lot of activities planned for the kiddos as well. 
Yeah, so we have Buckaroo Camp, which is about a tin station camp where Cecilia Harris and her group will teach you how to be a Buckaroo. We also have another, that's a, a free along with the admission. When you get in, you'll be able to see a lot of free things that are offered. We'll have a mechanical bowl for kids. We've got uh, uh, rock walls, bouncy castles, all kinds of fun stuff that you'll get a chance to see. Uh, the kids, it's all about them, but they want to learn a lot too. So they're going to be able to experience these Longhorn. A lot of great authors coming in here. Uh, the Kreisingers, the Chiroz, you got some great authors you'll be able to talk to and interact and hear their presentations. Uh, just some great uh, uh, demonstration areas there. And fireworks tonight, so don't miss that at 945. Great demonstration coming up. Well, you're listening to the Saddle Up Let's Ride Parade on AM 1560 KBI, the general, and uh, we got the... We, we got the Longhorns coming up here now. They're not too far down the street from us, Mike. Yeah, yeah it's kind of good. Last year we had to stop the Longhorns quite a bit. There was like a few pauses here and there, so it's nice they're kind of going on their own pace. We want to thank Wes Sander and his, uh, his boy Corey. They do a great job bringing the, the Longhorns to us from Oklahoma, the chain ranch down there. So just a great job for bringing these guys to us. They did the Ellsworth Parade. They did the Flint Hills Symphony. They, uh, they had a, this massive group coming through here. Uh, these guys are uh, pretty special to us. Rather tame, considering that they're Longhorns. Yeah, yeah, you don't see, uh, even back then, I don't think eight, eight foot uh, horns or even nine foot spans, you wouldn't have seen too many of those. So it's kind of funny how these guys have evolved even bigger than what they were back then. And how many are there total, do you know? I think there's about 28. So the stockyards we built, we thought we had plenty of room, but these guys are so big, we had to put a second stockyards out there. And they are, uh, can you give us a little history on, on they travel around, I know they're, they're yeah. in Dodge City sometimes, uh, now that you're in Abilene a, a second year. Yeah, Wes Sander just kind of did this as a demonstration, just kind of for a goof, I think, at first, and realized that everybody loved it, so he just kind of made a career out of it. Uh, Wes, we're so excited to have him a part of this great event. Uh, you'll see some great drivers along with his crew as well coming up uh, from, uh, from Oklahoma, uh, Woodward, I believe. And these guys coming up on the rear, you'll see uh, some great characters, local guys here we do appreciate uh, with uh, John McDonald, Jeff Dawson, all these great guys that just kind of uphold that history and the legends of the Longhorns are back. Well, the Longhorns, because that's what the cattle would have been then when they were moving them in here 150 years ago. Yeah, Texas had a bottleneck. They had too many of these guys and they were starving out. After the Civil War, they had no place to go. So that's why Joseph McCoy was so important to the South. He saved their economy. If you're sitting with two or three million head of Longhorn and they're all starving out, you gotta find something quick. It was a railroad that saved the day for us. So Abilene got the Union Pacific Eastern Division right here just to the left of me. You'll see the tracks or the original line that would have been. I see uh, Dwayne McDonald here as well. It's just a, it's a great group of guys here. Dennis Weiss pulling back on the backside there. So John McDonald over here. That's Rawhide Corral did so much for us. Built the arena, they built the stockyards. We thank John McDonald and his team. What a great job they did. Jeff Dawson nailing, uh, nailing the nails into the boards. He'll be playing tonight for us. Jeff will be the opening for Red Stegall. All right, well, uh, I tell you what, uh, just one wonderful uh, parade and, and uh, so much more going on today as well. So there's much to look forward to as the 100 and end of the uh, 150th celebration anniversary, if you will, at the end of the Chisholm Trail uh, continues throughout the day here in Abilene with just a host of activities. You don't want to miss one minute of it.